Well, let's get more now on another story that's been breaking this evening. Ken Livingstone resigning from the Labour Party. The former mayor of London has been suspended for two years over allegations of anti-Semitism and he was facing a fresh disciplinary hearing this week. Well, Jenny Manson from Jewish Voice for Labour, who has argued that Mr Livingstone has not said anything anti-Semitic, gave her reaction to his resignation. I'm, I'm saddened for Ken. I'm relieved a little bit for Ken because I think he's probably had enough and his friends and family have had enough. I'm sorry that the Labour Party has had such a bad period of, of accepting accusations without evidence and allowing them to be beefed up into real hatred, but I'm optimistic with, that with Jenny Formby as General Secretary now and if Mr Corbyn and Jenny Formby work together that we can actually uh, deal with those allegations of anti-Semitism that are justified deal fairly with people who've been falsely accused and get on with the, with the job of opposition. People were saying he's jumped before he was pushed. There was a likelihood, we think, that he would have been forced well, to resign from the party. There was certainly some talking on, on that. Even Shami Chakrabarti made her a statement. I'm very surprised by that. I'm surprised by her statement because natural justice, we hope, will now prevail in the Labour Party and I don't think an inquiry would have any easier time than the one that which heard my evidence and other, other witnesses in finding that he had certainly that he was anti-semitic that was never even suggested but bringing party into disrepute is something that we must be very careful about how that's um, administered it's jenny manson from jewish voice for labor more on that story of course throughout the evening here on bbc news